Now we can see the relationship between SSB center frequency point and GSCN. We will try to understand the conversion from SSB reference to GSCN and GSCN to the SS reference. So in this table you can see that range of frequency SS block frequency position that is SS RF uh, GSCN and range of GSCN. Here you can see that if range of frequency is 0 to 3000 megahertz, SS block frequency position, SS reference will calculate from this formula N into uh, 1200 kilohertz, 1200 you can say that 1.2 megahertz plus M into 15 kilohertz that is SS RF. This is SS RF calculation formula. SS RF equal to N into 1200 kilohertz plus M into 15 kilohertz. This is SS block frequency position that is SS RF. N value is 1 to 2 4 9 9. M value is 1 3 5. So we'll try to understand that what is the means of N, what is the means of M. So here 1200 kilohertz means 1.2 megahertz is frequency raster. You can say the synchronization raster. So we'll try to scan whole bandwidth on 1.2 megahertz a step. 1.2 megahertz a step it will scan. So on every 1.2 megahertz a step you will try to find the location of SSB. GSCN how we calculate the GSCN? If we know the value of N and M, M value is fixed 135 but N value if we are know the N, N value then we calculate the GSCN 3N plus M minus 3 by 2. This is formula to calculate the uh, GSCN for 0 to 3000. Uh, megahertz range so if suppose that we want to calculate the range of gscn the range of gscn is 2 to 7498 2 is the minimum value maximum value is 7498 suppose the n equal to 1 m equal to 1 so here you can see that 3 plus 1 minus 3 by 2 that means gscn equal to 2 if n equal to 1 in second step second scan is happening n equal to 1 m equal to 3 that means gscn equal to 3 right n equal to 1 that means 3 3 minus 3 by 2 that means 0 3 n equal to 3 gsn equal to 3 as the same if n equal to 249 maximum value of n equal to 2499 right if we can see that if n equal to 2499 and m value is also maximum 135 5 so m equal to 5 then gsn value equal to 7498 so range of gsn is 227498 for this frequency range. On same way, we can calculate the SSREF and uh, yeah, you can say that SS block frequency position for range of frequency 3000 to 24250. So uh, in this range, uh, uh, raster size, yeah, you can say that synchronization raster size is 1.44 megahertz. So the every 1.44 megahertz step, you will try to find the SSB position. So this formula is SS reference, uh, SS block frequency position, SS reference position formula is 3000 plus N into 1.44 megahertz and N equal to 0 to 14756, right? And GSN formula is 7499 plus N. If suppose that N value we know that, then we'll add the N value and we can calculate the range of GSN 7499 to 22255. For frequency range 24250, uh, this uh, gigahertz uh, uh, calculation is uh, formula is this 24250.08 megahertz uh, plus n into uh, here uh, raster size you can see that in this case uh, raster size yeah you can say that synchronization raster step size is 17.28 megahertz so every 17.2 megahertz step, step size you will try to find the ssb position and formula is 24250.08 megahertz plus n into 17.28 megahertz 17.28 is uh, synchronization raster size uh, in value is belong to the 0 to 4383 right and uh, GSCN formula is triple two five six plus N. So range of GSN is triple two five six to two two double six three nine. So this is the range of GSCN. So uh, in this example, you can see that five G NR. Uh, suppose that SS reference uh, frequency. I have taken the one example. Uh, here you can see that if suppose that SS block frequency position SS REF equal to three three two five 
0.44 megahertz then how you will calculate uh, calculate it gsn right so uh, you can see that it is belong to the th second uh, second uh, range right 3000 to 24250 it is coming belong to this range so formula is 3000 plus n into 1.44 uh, equal to uh, ss reference equal to 3325.44 right so uh, we will uh, calculate the n value here so n value is around 226 right 226 so how we'll calculate the gsn gsn formula is 7499 plus n n value is 226 then our gsn value is 7725 so this is the uh, gsn for uh, uh, ss reference frequency uh, uh, 3325.44 megahertz so this frequency ke liye gsn 7725 uh, abhi part ko thoda sa dekh lete hain in and m maine bola tha right so uh, suppose that uh, uh, first frequency i am taking first uh, 0 to 3000 so formula is n into 1200 kilohertz plus m into 50 kilohertz so 1200 that is 1.2 megahertz is our frequency resistor right so what what will be the first scan if you will do the first scan then what how it will do uh, suppose that this uh, frequency is there and uh, uh, n is equal to 200 so uh, n is equal to 1200 n is equal to suppose that one and m is equal to one right so 12 so first it will scan 1200 plus 15 kilohertz right this is the first scan right second scan will be uh, uh, when m equal to 3 m equal to jab 3 hoa tab kya hoga uh, 3 hoa tab n is equal to 1 n is equal to 1 m equal to 3 so again 1200 kilohertz plus m is equal to 3 then 150 kilohertz this time will do right third scan will happen n equal to uh, same 1 and m equal to 5 right so 5 into 50 the 1200 and 250 kilohertz uh, same way it will fourth scan will n value will be changed this time n is equal to 2 and m equal to 1 so again it this time a uh, scan will be 14 uh, 2 into 1200 that means uh, 2400 kilohertz 2.4 so 2400 and 15 kilohertz 2400 150 kilohertz 2400 250 kilohertz so this type of a scan will happen for 0 to 3000 megahertz so ssb follow gscn raster in stand alone mode uh, here you can see that if ssb is available in this position in time and frequency domain right in time and frequency domain ssb is available here so scan this full bandwidth in order with a special granularity granularity means a small part in synchronization raster in every small part it will try to scan it and a special granularity gscn order to find and understand uh, ssb block uh, every uh, granularity yeah, every uh, step it will scan and will reach to the ssb uh, central uh, frequency point and uh, uh, we have another formula to calculate the time domain uh, location in which time domain location point ssb is available so if you get a time domain location if you get a frequency diamond location you can know that exact location of ssb now i am going to finish this video Till now I have covered 80% part of SSB search process. In next video that will be a part 4 you will get a complete understanding of SSB search process. I have taken this image from part 1 video. As you know in first part video I have covered step 1 and step 2 process. A step 3 process I have divided in two part. A first part is SSB search process which is covered in part 2, 3 and 4 videos and next uh, second part is 5g cell search process will cover in video 5 and 6 so total 6 video i will upload for 5g cell search process this one is the part 3 so please watch my next video for part 4 where we will use the formula for time and frequency domain to calculate the ssb location thank you very much to watch this video if you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again be sure to hit that like and subscribe button before you go. If you have any query or suggestion, please comment below and I will try to explain in next video. Thanks you.